Hello and Randy here playing Farming Simulator 22 on Frankenmuth, Michigan, and this is the episode everyone's been waiting for, everyone's favorite activity, right? We are harvesting potatoes. Oh, come on, everyone. If some excitement here would be great, right? Everyone, at least someone act excited or something, you know, clap your hand, I don't know. <laughs> We're harvesting uh, potatoes here this episode, everyone. Uh, rest assured, we probably won't be doing it for the entire... Well, we probably will be harvesting potatoes all episode, but I'll probably throw a hired worker on it here at uh, some point. Uh, started the uh, potato harvest here in last night's live stream. Uh, so for those who watched the live stream, you've seen us uh, get the uh, potato harvest started here. Uh, we already had the uh, potato harvester purchased, and I had drove it up to the farm here, oh, I don't know, a couple episodes back, everyone. Uh, between episodes, I had driven it up there, so it's been at the farm for a while. Uh, what we did do on the live stream, though, is I did go ahead and pick up a truck and trailer here to haul potatoes with. Speaking of which, that truck is actually full here at this point, and uh, the harvester is, uh, okay, the harvester actually is full at this point. Okay, almost, oh man, so close, I mean, we almost made it to the end, oh well. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll stop there a minute here. Uh, making a couple of passes on the headland here, just so we got room to uh, turn around. Uh, I'm thinking what I'm going to do, everyone, in the future here, because I plan on actually doing more potatoes. Uh, yes, everyone, um, if you know of any good uh, psychiatrist and or medical help, make sure you send them my way because I'm probably going to need it. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm probably going to maybe make some changes to this field. I mean, like I said, I'm thinking permanent potato field here. Uh, we're probably going to get rid of these little cutouts between the houses. Just they're, they're too small to worry about when it comes to potatoes. I want to eat that. I'm going to do a different field with potatoes. I'm not sure yet. Either way. I'm probably going to add some nice big headlands, top and bottom of the field. Yes, we're going to get rid of some more field that way, but someone correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not super familiar with potatoes, but usually most vegetable farming I see everyone, a lot of times they don't do headlands. Like, they have huge open headlands that are not planted. Uh, just that way they can uh, turn up and down the rows, and as far as I know, I, mean, I think they do that with potatoes, but uh, for anyone that knows more about potatoes, let me know. I could be wrong in that. So that's what I'm thinking we might do with this field here. Anyway, we already got one full load of potatoes here off this field already. Um, from this uh, trailer here. Made it around the field. I think it was at one and a half times or something like that one. And uh, filled up. So, yeah. Potatoes seem to be yielding decent enough. Actually, speaking of yielding decent enough, let's hop out and check. What do we got here? Expected yield. 99%. So, I, I guess. I'm not entirely sure... How these numbers work now when it comes to precision farming, because precision farming definitely like changes all the numbers around a little bit, right? I don't know. You don't see the normal numbers you see when you don't have precision farming. So I'm still uh, still getting used to these numbers now. Again, and by the way, obviously playing with precision farming here on this map. Okay, and I've got an idea here for these uh, potatoes. I'm gonna, as I've kind of alluded to here on the live stream for one thing, and then in the previous episodes, that one, we are going to be doing something with these uh, potatoes. That reminds me too of one. I might have to get look at getting one more mod. Um, I think Jeffrey suggested this one to me as Master Productions mod or something like that. I forget the exact name of one, but yeah, so we might just need that. Also, I'm hashtag blame Jeffrey for the potatoes here. He's the one that gave me the idea. Maybe a little bit unknowingly, but he gave me the idea for this here. Oh, car. I'm coming through. My turn. And I think we own this little bit of land over here, don't we? Or is this... Yeah, no, I think we do own this little bit of land. This is going to uh, potentially come in very handy here, I'm thinking. Everyone, I'll go check the map here a minute. Excellent. Yes, we own uh, this little piece. I'm not entirely sure why. I guess it's part of the house there. Actually, no, I guess it could be sold, couldn't it? Well, worth a whopping $25,000. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we do own this as well. I'm not sure why, but there's just like a large open track of grass here. I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be a hay field or something. Maybe that's the idea. But I figured this would be the perfect spot to put down possibly a couple of productions, everyone, because we're going to have a lot of potatoes. And at least from what I've seen, uh, the productions here, everyone, in farming simulator 22, they seem like they're relatively slow, right? So we need this to be a little bit quicker. But either means getting that mod that hopefully speed them up and or put more of them down. So I'm thinking possibly two for sure. Uh, where'd it go here? I know it was here. I was looking at it earlier. Oh, there it is. Okay, so yeah, going to our production, our factories oven. That's right. We're getting the uh, Scroft. Oh, wait. Scrofties factory. The Scrofties factory, I guess. Yep. Let's see what's there. Where? Can I rotate around? Yeah, there we go. So is that the load point? That is the load point. Okay. 
don't know where the best spot to have this here. Everyone is, to be honest, but maybe actually what we could do, turn it this way, I'm thinking. Turn it this way. Or should we just keep it straight and like out by the road here? I have no idea. Use the road to straighten it back out here. Maybe we just uh, put it here somewhere. That might work. And I'll, I'll start with one for now, but uh, future plan is probably to put it like another one here and maybe even another. We'll, we'll see once here. And then at some point, I'll uh, paint the terrain around here too. I want so we got like a, just a cement pad or something. For now, we'll call well, this good for the moment. Maybe uh, we do another live stream on this map at some point. I mean, that might be a good time to do it. We can just uh, spend some time uh, getting the, the terrain set up. Okay, so we're not potatoes. Uh, we do need one other crop pipe here as well for this, by the way. Uh, Jeffrey informed me of this. I was not aware of that, uh, which makes sense, by the way. Uh, we also need sunflowers for this. Or actually, you know what? Is it not sunflowers? It's sunflower oil, isn't it? It's the uh, oil. Actually, yeah, this is the right screen here. We need, yeah, we do need sunflower oil. Okay. So that means we potentially either need to put down the oil factory or we just need to buy sunflower oil, which I don't know. We'll, we'll see what's happening. Either way, I might just do that here to at least get started. Speaking of get started, maybe we will do that to just to get started here. Is there, I guess I can go back to the menu too. That'll start it. There we go. There it is. That's what I was looking for. So sunflower oil, we can just set to buy. Sure. Oh, I have to like literally buy it. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't realize it was gonna run like that. Okay, fine, just activate that. Yeah, I think we can also go to shop. Is that where they are? I think the shop is where they are, right? Uh, no, we need, where's our pallets here? Palletized products. Do we have, there's canola. Okay, if there's canola, there's probably sunflower then too, which looks like they're probably in alphabetical order. So, sure, sunflower. Whoa, 10,000, huh? Boy, how much? That's 2,000 liters. That's 5,000. Okay, I think it's it's cheaper to buy it. The way I'm currently buying it then, isn't it? Is there not a way like I can, uh, can... Oh wait, okay, it doubles it every time. That's what it was, okay, that's fine. We just do this again. Yeah, see it keeps going up. Now it's gonna be almost 4,000. We do it again, it's gonna be almost 8,000. And this time about like 32,000. Wow, well, that's getting a little expensive here. Um, 56,000. Wow. Uh, I'm going to say uh, yes to that. Okay. I mean, we got plenty of money on so I'm not too worried about it. But, wow, that is, uh, that is money there. Okay, then. Yeah. Uh, we might be uh, putting some uh, sunflower fields in here at some point, everyone. And maybe the uh, oil factory as well, so we can uh, start producing our own sunflower oil. Uh, for now, I don't have any sunflowers planted. Noted, everyone. We better put some uh, sunflowers in one of these fields here, I think, for next year. And or, I was mentioning this on the live stream as well, we could just maybe buy a field of sunflowers. I guess we could also buy sunflowers too, that might be an option. Okay, anyway, back to the field we go. Get the harvest emptied, and uh, maybe we'll do another headland pass or two here. And then maybe we'll look at hiring a worker. And as you can see, by the way, when, uh, from last episode, I did go ahead and uh, finish planting all the fields that we had available to us here that were not already planted in oilseed radish. So uh, the, the three fields here are now all oilseed radish. Not close enough. Not close enough here. A little bit closer here. Well, still not close enough, or is it not on? Should be on, I thought. Oh no, I guess it's not. Oh yep, there we go. There's a problem. Speaking of the uh, potato harvester here, by the way, when I mentioned this on the live stream as well, 
But yes, Giants finally has a brand new uh, potato harvester here in the game. I think for the last, I think it was what, farming simulator, was it 13 or 15? I forget when the potatoes came. 13, wasn't it? The farming simulator 13, 15, 17, 19, everyone, they all had the same potato harvester, if I remember correctly. Uh, 22, everyone, we finally have a brand new, at least in the game anyway, brand new potato harvester, the Ventor 4150. Uh, still a grimy. Grimy? Grimy? Not sure how you uh, pronounce that. Oh, you know what? Sorry, a little left on the end. Back it up. Back in line here. We get uh, time this episode, everyone. I was thinking about putting a field of wheat in as well. So maybe we can uh, start uh, plowing up one of the fields here. As far as I know, when it comes to the oilseed radish, as long as the oilseed radish has sprouted, I think we're good to till it under. And obviously, of course, at this point, I'm in the oilseed radish is sprouted, right? I don't know. The oilseed radish really never gets any bigger than that, does it? Well, it does not. Mean. It shows how often I do oilseed radish, right, everyone? I just typically never do the cover crop in the game. And uh, someone in the comments here, we'll maybe get to the comments here in a few minutes. I was kind of saying the same thing as well, but it seems like a lot of work for fertilizer when all you have to do, everyone, is just take your fertilizer spreader, which is probably what, like, 30 some meters wide or bigger make a couple passes up and down the field and you're done field's fertilized well this that one you first got to plant the field which uh your planter is what maybe six ten maybe a, a mass of 15 meters or something like that unless of course got the really big ones but uh so yeah get your big planter you know what six to ten meters once you got that done, we gotta wait for the crops to grow it should only take a day in the game here. Once that happens, Evan, then you got to take your plow, or I don't know if you can use a cultivator or not. You probably use a cultivator too, I guess. In this case, we're going to use a plow because the field needs to be plowed. But uh, take your plow and plow the field. Which is another, what? You know, six to ten meters wide at the most. Depending on what kind of plow you're using too, maybe I should mention. Obviously, if you're using one of the bulbore plows, <laughs> good luck to you. Speaking of the Moldboard Plow, by the way, for those of you who uh, watch my real life videos, uh, you'll hopefully be uh, seeing some real Moldboard Plow action coming up here in the next uh, week or so. Need to get the uh, the video all edited here yet, but once uh, the video is edited, we'll get that uploaded. I'm going like to you see some actual uh, Moldboard Plowing. Only a little uh, two bottom plow, but still, Moldboard Plowing. And uh, kind of like the one reason where a farmer might actually use a mold bore plow in real life yet that we're plowing under sod or grass something where yes Evan you could run some other tillage tools through it but in, in some ways it's easier just to take the plow turn the soil over and then it's well you got easy access to your dirt right Oh, and I should not mention too, obviously with the precision farming, you can see down in the bottom right there with the map, you can see our yield map. Uh, we're ranging anywhere from, I think, about 80 to 125%, or probably actually it's probably 75% to 125%. Again, all depends on the soil type. Uh, which we were discussing that on the live stream, by the way. You know, in fact, I, at this point, I should just mention, for those of you who don't know, I do live stream here as well. Typically during the week, Evan, around, lately it's been around the 730 PM time frame. I uh, for usually about 45 minutes. So I'm mean, again, uh, real life. I'm mean, I'm working overtime here at work, so I haven't had a lot of time to uh, do a lot of live streaming. But so yeah, about 45 minutes. So I mean, during the week, around 7:30, over on Twitch. Again, already Allen on Twitch. So for those of you not following over there, link is down below in the description. Or of course, you can just go over to Twitch and search for R.P. Allen. You should have no problem finding myself. Just make sure you follow, and that way you get notified when I go live. We get a lot more uh, more dialogue over there, I guess you could say, everyone. We're talking about stuff like this and farming and who knows what else. We get into all kinds of topics, everyone. Fun stuff. 
Anyway, I think that's probably about enough of a headland down in the center of the field. Maybe? Possibly. What I'm thinking I'm going to do in the future here, as I was mentioning everyone, I will probably leave like this much of an open area. I'll just uh, take the, the painting tool here in the game and literally just remove this field th through here. That is what I'm thinking. We're, we're just going to get rid of it. And that'll leave a nice open area there for our potato equipment to turn around. And we'll have to see once two have one, and this might not be the only uh, potato harvester we have. I know someone was mentioning on my previous series when I was wrapping up, uh, they are ready to see, you know, multiple harvesters working on a map. Well, then you probably won't see multiple combines working on this map. We'll see once I doubt it. We'll, we'll probably just have one combine. Doesn't mean you won't see multiple harvesters. I mean, this is technically still a harvester yet, everyone. And we'll have to see once. We might, uh, we might want multiples of these, because, uh, well, as you can see, the, it's not particularly wide. Oh, is it even six? I think it's not more like four, isn't it? Three? Probably three. I never even did check the shop. How wide is this potato harvester? Three or four? Doesn't actually say. Doesn't, unless I'm missing something here. 750 liters of fuel, 15 mile an hour. That's probably the... Uh, Maximum road speed. That's not the actual harvesting speed. 22,500 uh, capacity, 30.1 tons. Actually, not as heavy as I would have thought it would have been. Only 30. I mean, that's still heavy. I'm in 30 tons, but. Six miles an hour. TM 900, TM 3000, FL. What are the those? Customize. Oh, the tires. That's right. Michelin's Tractor Master Combine Master, huh? Okay. I definitely have some uh, tire options there. Giants has definitely added quite a few uh, tire brands to the game, that is for sure. For those of you who uh, get into that. Myself, personally, I'm not going to care less about, uh, you know, what brand tire. Just stack some tires on as long as they look good. Yeah, good enough. As long as they're good for one year's, right? Okay, I don't have this much of a headland down on the other end, everyone. But I'm thinking we'll maybe just hire the worker, see once what he does. I'm just trying to keep an eye on him and keep him unloaded. Or, could keep the horse like going too, maybe. Might be an option. We'll see once here. Or maybe set up a self unload and even have horse play. Go unload at the new factory. I don't know. I'll see once here. That's uh, definitely an option we might have to get into. We'll see once here. Okay, I'm just gonna throw a hard worker on this. I'm gonna put the pipe away. Okay. Yep. Nearly full grain tank. And if you check the factory, I mean, I believe the factory was running here already. Yeah, we already got 144 liters of crisps, i.e. potato chips. That's right, everyone. We're making potato chips. Now, sunflower oil here. How much is that factory? Let's go check this out here a minute. Construction, production. So if we go to our factories, we need... It'd be nice if they'd actually, like, put the name on the factory. Otherwise, like... You got to, like, recognize the building, and I don't know about you folks. I don't recognize the building necessarily. I mean, some of them I do a little bit, maybe. But otherwise, you got to go tap. Oh, there we go. Oil factory. That's the one we want. You got to go through all of them and figure out, you know, okay, that. Yep, that's the one I want. I want the oil factory. Okay, and where's... Oh, there's the dump spot on that one. Maybe gonna put this one back here then. Nice of them to have this uh, large open pad area here across from the farm. Because, like, where am I gonna put all this stuff? And it's like, oh, 
Aha. Perfect. And again, I'm going to take the time at some point here to uh, paint it all. But we can go here. And it should be a lot cheaper, I would think, to buy the sunflowers, right? Yeah, 672. In fact, <laughs> um, that is probably cheaper than what we can uh, produce them for, everyone, to be honest. Because essentially, everyone, and I know a lot of people don't think of this, but let's, uh, we'll finish buying here a minute. We'll go look at it. We'll just uh, fill this up here. And again, when it comes to filling up, it just doubles. So basically what you gotta do, just let it get down to about halfway. And once it's down to halfway, I'm gonna just buy some more and that'll fill it back up. In fact, this should, should about fill it. There we go, 127,000 liters. Now, if I buy again, what does it do? Oh, it buys just enough to top it off. Okay, I wasn't sure. So yeah, I just kind of keep an eye on it there, about halfway, fill it up again. And we want to change the output mode to distributing. So it's distributing the sunflower oil, and it's active, right? Like it should be on. Yes, it is. Okay, excellent. The oil factory's running. Uh, we'll just have to keep an eye on this one. You know, if we need another oil factory, we'll have to do that too, just uh, to keep up with the chips. I have no idea, man. No idea. Speaking of potato chips, I just happen to think of something. Where are we going to sell the potato chips? I just thought of this, everyone. Where do you sell potato chips to? I suppose I should probably, like, look into this a little bit. Selling points. Do we have one that... Oh, yeah, probably that one right there. Supermarket. Takes potato chips. As well as a bunch of other stuff. Maybe we can, uh... Put this somewhere. Actually, let's go look at the map. Any good spot on the map here? Yeah, we got... What do we got here? I mean, we could go put it down in town somewhere, I suppose. I have my guess. I went, probably there's no spot in town that's going to sell potato chips. I doubt. Yeah, no selling points available. That's what I figured. Because it's a modded type, everyone. Unless the map specifically supports it, there's not going to be a sell point for it. Now, I do have one other potential use for uh, potatoes here as well, everyone. We'll have to get into that at some point. Uh, this is another... I think this is another hashtag blame Jeffrey. Uh, Jeffrey gave me this idea as well. Uh, it's going to require just a little bit of modding because the uh, particular factory doesn't actually take potatoes. It seems like it should, but it doesn't. So we might end up uh, taking another factory up on. Maybe just uh, change one of the items from what it is to potatoes, and that one will take potatoes as well and make another uh, product type here. Yep. Hashtag blame Jeffrey for this one. Remember, everyone, hashtag blame Jeffrey for the potatoes. And the potato chips. Hey, who doesn't like good potato chip, right? Okay, canola oil is producing 8 liters. Wow, 195 potato chips already. Not too shabby. Damn it through my equipment. Yep, I know you're full. Look, there's the truck. I should have just like back tabbed. I'm going to take me right to it. This should be the last piece of equipment we purchased. Oh, well. Now, out of curiosity... Will the AI worker support these new factories that I've put down? I don't know how that works with AI workers here. If I uh, create a job here, and if I do like a deliver job, load and deliver. We'll just do a deliver. Uh, unloading station here, what would this be called? Go look at that here a minute. The Scrofty's factory? I don't know if that's what it's going to be called in the menu or not. I guess we'll find out. Great job. Yeah, there's going to be quite a few uh, places in the list here, probably. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. So if I start job, I wonder if he'll... Uh... Oh, let's find out. No idea. Target is unreachable. Yeah, that's weird. Should be more than reachable. Nope, I guess it's considered unreachable. I went, oh, well... This might be a good candidate then for like auto drive or something like that. Don't know if you can uh, set this up with course play yet or not. 
I don't know if that's an option. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything, uh, you know, like, course play like in here. Okay, well, anyway, we'll leave, uh... We'll leave the workers to that one there. And then I want to go tab over. I'm in two. Yes, the John Deere 8R. That's the one we want. John Deere 8R here with our 2720. I think it's 2720. Probably really, to be I should have a bigger tractor on this, maybe. I don't know if an 8370R is actually big enough for this uh, particular plow or not. Eh, it's not going to stop us from pulling it with it, though. Hopefully, anyway. We're going to take the plow one and head out to, I'm thinking... Uh, now that we need the oil one, I'm thinking maybe 11 will be our sunflower field. Maybe. Oh, and that reminds me. We need to discuss the price on the sunflowers too, right? Oh, boy. Go for the ditch. Trying to make the turn out there without taking out the mailbox. So, yeah. That'll probably be our sunflower field one. And then I'm going to make... Uh, is it number 11? Is that the number here? No, number 4. I'm sorry. Number 4 up here uh, is going to be our wheat field, I figure. So, we're going to plant wheat in the small field up here. By the way, when it comes to fields, I mean, can you folks tell which field I planted versus which field course play planted? Yep. I planted field 12. Course play did 4 and 11, everyone. So, yep. What was that about? Oh, car there. Right there, cars. Stay away from the tool here. If you don't, you know what you'll get. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I supposed to stop there? Try to get lined up a little better here if I can. There we go. Now that's looking pretty good. Okay, speaking of uh, sunflowers here, by the way, let's go back to that here real quick. Uh, something maybe a lot of folks don't consider. If we go to our selling here and find sunflowers. So, yes, I mean, if we were to uh, grow our sunflowers and sell them, we can sell them for 2000 529 looks like that's the highest price of everyone. We're buying sunflowers for what? Six, almost, almost 700, right? That is like well under a third of the price of what we could grow and sell our sunflowers for. So to me, I mean, it's almost cheaper just to buy them, right? Because essentially, I mean, if we uh, were to grow sunflowers and sell them, I mean, they, we'd make 2,500 a liter or per 1,000 liter. Versus just buying, we're only costing us 700 So it's almost like losing out on not quite $2,000, but pretty close to $2,000, if you ask me almost. Okay, we're just going to plow this under here. Curious. Okay, nothing showing up on the map. I thought this maybe would show up uh, like some fertilizer or something, but... And we should be in the plant season too, right? Let me double check this here. One. Nope. Need this one here. Too many screens to go through. Yes, so we are wheat barley planting season. Right? Planting? Yes. Make sure I wasn't getting confused and looking at the harvest. I've done that before. Like, yep, planting time. Oh, wait, no, that's the harvest one. Never mind. Just out of curiosity if we get out here, everyone. Nitrogen is... Oh, this is interesting. I mean, it's showing the nitrogen is perfect. Uh, of course, I mean, it's not technically perfect. The only reason it's shown as perfect is because there's nothing planted in the field that needs nitrogen. So if you were to maybe plant corn in this field, then, well, it might have a little bit of a problem. Nitrogen is 30. 25. Well, that doesn't seem to be going up at all. We need the other screen here. Oh, our environmental score, 80, huh? Is that what that is? I think that's what that is. No idea. So tillage, soil sampling, weed control, pH, and nitrogen. So really good on the nitrogen, really good on the pH. Not so good on the weed control. Soil sampling is excellent while well, we purchased the soil sample. And tillage, not so good on. Versus this one here, we are good on soil and good on tillage. Interesting. 
And likewise with that one. Okay, cool. Anyway. Oh, hey, here we go. Uh, environmental score increases your sell prices by 3%. Ah, so it does go higher as the score gets better. I wasn't sure if that's how that worked or not, but it looks like that is the case. Anyway, going back to this one, everyone. That doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot, everyone. Huh. Do I need to let the nitrogen... Or, uh, sorry, the nitrogen... The oil seed grow a little more yet, maybe? I don't know, everyone. I'm not entirely sure. Also, maybe I should put this on the red track. I mean, the quad track is technically a little bit bigger. Okay. Well, if my eyes aren't deceiving me, I mean, it does appear to be a little bit of a change down along the bottom, but not very much. Wow. If that's all the better this gets, everyone, we're never going to be doing uh, oil seed radish again, that's for sure. But I wonder if we just got to wait longer. Maybe I need to wait for the oil seed radish to, I don't know, do whatever it does. What's it do? I have no idea, one. Make one more pass here a minute. Just to see if we can uh, confirm that looks like what it's doing. Well, if that's the case, Evan, that's going to change up our plans here for plant wheat. Um, if I do need to wait for the oilseed radish to uh, grow larger, then we'll maybe hold off on the wheat and we'll just wait till next spring and we'll plant corn and beans and sunflowers or something, I guess. And I just looked at the time, Evan. I was going to read some uh, comments here, but I realized it is time to wrap it up for this episode already. So uh, my apologies, Evan. I was hoping to read some comments, but it is already... We're already 30 minutes in. Oh, boy. I guess when they say you're having fun, you're having fun, right? So, again, everyone, thanks for watching. You folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. And until uh, next time.